G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24-7, servicing their customers' hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business, and this is something everyone should be thinking about. Train to play. And Sammy Bull does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. Kia ora and welcome to day four of the New Zealand Rugby League Secondary Schools competition and semi-final time. We have D La Soul taking on Southern Cross Campus. Hey Morena Hatamari, Bulova Naka, Fakalofa Lahi, Atu, Tenakwe. Sure, day four, Blake. Yeah, bro. Day four secondary school tournament. Big semi-final coming up in this one. Big premiership semi-final. And uh, how we got here, um, yes. De La Cell have gone through undefeated to take top place of their pool. They beat uh, Rotorua Boys 28 to 16 in a tough fought battle. They then beat Mags 50 to nil, Mount Al McGrammar and Taikura. They didn't play yesterday, so they're a bit rested. Uh, Taikura withdrew through injury. Um, and Southern Cross Campus started off they were our first game of live stream for the tournament and went down to St. Thomas 22 to 6. But since then, turn the tournament around beating St Paul's the heavy favourites 30 to 16 and then beating Wesley College 42 nil to get their place. Blake uh, a decision needed to be made yesterday in terms of the top four of the, the two top teams uh, and, and in regards to the semi-final here and the other semi-final talk us through uh, how we got to that decision. Well I know there's a, a bit of uproar you might say but I don't think there was any other way so it's one in a million. I don't think I've ever seen it before. For and against have landed 
on the exact same. So they're for and against, minus and plus, the exact same, Southern Cross Campus and St. Paul's. So the secondary thing, they went to who scored the most tries? They both scored the exact same amount of tries. So I know I've had people saying, oh, why didn't they play extra time? Well, they weren't playing each other, so you can't get the kids to play a whole nother game just to realise who gets to the finals. And they said, what about a kickoff? And I said, well, the pressure on a 16, 17, 18 year old kid with the school on his shoulders, if he does miss or does make the kick, it's, it's a hell of a lot of pressure. So they did a coin toss. Yep. And um, Southern Cross Campus obviously won the coin toss. And I don't think there was any other way that we could have come to this reasoning. No, exactly that. The well-being of children is more important. And New Zealand Rugby League have identified that and taken taken the heat for making that decision. And, and so it should be like that. For sure. And, and I think both teams, uh, speaking to them, you know, look back on the tournament and it might have been a... Uh, error on theirs by they might have rested players or they might have missed a conversion or things like this and you always look back after and you think about what more could have been done but what's done is done now and we have the semi-finals and it's going to be a great matchup I tell you Southern Cross have gotten better each game yeah. So in this one we've got De La Salle and Southern Cross and in the other major semi-final, Rotorua Boys High School, you see just starting to prepare, they take on St Thomas of Canterbury and the winners of these two match go straight to the grand final for the Boys Premiership. Speaking of coin toss, that's exactly what we're going through right now. <laughs> must mention, I, j I just looked over before and De La Salle must be very well coached. Uh, former New Zealand international, night superstar George Carmont is... Um, Looks like he's taken control of D La Salle, so those boys are very lucky to have such a seasoned veteran um, who has a very high IQ about rugby league and is around the Auckland system to take them. You know, they, they were well rested yesterday, but at times, you know, when you lose a bit of consistency in game time, that can play against you. Uh, but we'll see if, um, if George Carmont's um, plans and strategy to, to get these boys well and ready for this game, uh, only, only time will tell us. Right, let's go through the team. Southern Cross, number one, Johnson Bungi. Panapa Whaingo at number two. Number three for um, Southern Cross Campus is Siale Lavu Lavu. Josiah Vite at four, Sione Lolohia at five. And the halves for them is Otufanga Uasike, Masio Potofa. And in the prop forward is La Lamuni Matu. Number nine is Rufi Malu. Ten, Paya Potofa. And in the back row is Emosi Ravosai, Jerome Falemoi, and Elijah Leomwana locking it up for the starting side of Southern Cross Campus. Right at this moment, they've got the ball in hand. Good start for Southern Cross Campus. And they're making it 30 metres up in their second hit up. Great work there from the number nine, that's Rofi Malu, uh, just pushing the referee to look at the, um, the time that they've been held down on the ground. All right, Southern Cross, 40, 40 metres out. But look at the defence from uh, De La Salle, right there meeting them in, in, the, uh, in the defensive line. This is uh, for, uh, Leo Moana, Leo Moana, the big 13. Referee Pucky Parkinson calls fifth and final. They find Uasike, midfield bomb, testing the fullback. Great take, Herbert Loza. That was a great first set from Southern Cross Campus, but evenly matched by the defence, and we're getting out of territory here. Now they're looking a bit bunched, but it looks like they're just getting the outside backs in to do some work. So we see the number three, who's Fatih Alofa, come in for another strong carry. Now he's set centre partner, number four, Talatana Malama, comes in for another strong carry. Gee, both sides are starting really strong with good energy. Both over halfway too. Very strong carries. Fifth and final being caught. They go to the number six, who looks like to be doing a lot of the kicking today, Manola Mamiya. Rangi there, he didn't quite take it on the forwards, bounced. Looks like a turnover, maybe a penalty caught offside there. Offside. For big number 13, Leo Moana. Great air time by Mano Le Mamiya. And uh, now he's got the choice. Do you take the two points early? I know it's semi-final, but no, they're kids. Come on, they, they, they want to run around. They don't want none of their boring footy. Well placed that kick there right between Rangi and Fangai. Tupoloto Via starting the set off. And they've got shape right and left. It looks like they might go open to Tumanga. Now they go out the back. Six to seven, after Herbert Loza. 
sums up the situation. They turn it back under to the 23s. Martin Nelson goes 10 out from the line. Looking damaging, the shape set up. They're a bit flat at the moment. Southern. Tumonga set, settles it up and straightens the attack. Southern Cross coming off the try line in the defence. Manoli Mamiya out the left-hand side. Out to Loza. And they've ruled a forward pass. They've been a... Now, they have had the ball de la Selle, their first attacking set we've seen on the line. It just looked like they were a little bit too flat. They knew what they wanted to do, but not deep enough. Well, the, the pressure that um, Southern Cross are putting on them, they're coming off their own defensive line, moving forward, meeting the attack, uh, which is causing a bit of pressure for the playmakers of De La Salle. You can hear the haka now from Rotorua Boys High School and uh, St. Thomas of Canterbury in the background there. But we're back to the 40 here. De La Salle coming out of their own half off a of scrum feed. That looks like Siale Lavu Lavu, the centre. At dummy half is Rofe Malu. He finds Uasike. Uasike takes the line on. It's a great aggression here in both sides. Numbers there, but he beats three players there, the big seeker role. Shalabo side. Uasile finds his prop forward to settle right up in the middle. Matu, Lamuni Latu. So that was Paya Potofa. Very here great goes, night. Here goes Lamuni Matu, the prop forward. He finds this. Oh, taken. Seo Lele Tave gets back there and beats one, two. He's got the little rest tail like uh, Brian Toto. Mm -hmm. Big powerhouse winger. But that was a great break. And Celesa Leo Moana, his ball worked through the middle. After watching that first game, of the live stream the other night. His work with Falamoy was outstanding. They're gonna be the ones I think that really get through this game if they are. The 13-12 combination for Southern Cross. And he was playing center the other night, Falamoy. So he's moving the back row, but as we go over halfway with the La Cell, Herbert Loza once again. Mangeli. Picks it back up, Herbert Loza, great support play. Great. Inside, decides to put it on the toe. Just a little bit too Ooh. deep. Uasike, the half for Southern Cross, was caught out there. Kena Mangele, really spotted opportunity with no markers, took it down the, the short side. And like any great fullback does, Herbert Loza, he's been in, had a couple of classy touches so far with the ball and uh, backed up just a little too hard off the toe. It's been a high energy first five minutes in the semi-final between De La Salle and Southern Cross campus. Uh, Southern Cross always have to work out of their own house each time they have the ball in hand. And starting their set off uh, will be Lamuni Matu. All right, Southern Cross now making their way to the 40. Some of the backs coming in to do some work. That looks like Johnson Rani. Gains another five metres. Here comes their work push we were talking about earlier. The back rower. Leo Moana. Potofa. Potofa with another hit up for our Southern Cross campus. Uasike is calling for the boys, aiming high. They come to the Short blind side. side though. Oh, offload, here it's we Malu. go. Leo Moana. Finds the prop forward, Martu. They shift it, grubber kick goes through for Southern Cross, but taken well by De La Salle. Mano Lima Mia again, back there to stop it. Picks the ball up, goes to the 10 metre line, works it out. Now once again, De La Salle very bunched, but we've seen both teams work off their own line pretty strong. See the first carry from Talatena Malama. They look to go back to the middle. Stepping light feet. The number nine offloads. Herbert Loza again there. Quick play the ball and they're off. Tony, Malachi Tony off to his big props. Malachi, and the penalty. Malachi Tony spotted a little weakness there. Hit Fatia Lofa on a short ball and Southern Cross Campus just crept up a bit high. 
bit of concern for the lock forward Leo Moana from um, Southern Cross campus. Slowly made his way back to the defensive line. About 40 out from the line and once again De La Selle with a, another attacking set will finish. You believe this set close to the line. The kick is back underway by Tupolotu Via. Malakai Tony once again sharp out of dummy half and picks up his same man. Great offload. Great offload by Fatia Lofa. And they passed it back inside. Malakai Tony, one on one. Tackled. They need someone to get the dummy half. There he is, Fatia Lofa. Three people to hold him down. Southern Cross look zapped in their defense. They're not moving off the line at all. But here they come moving forward. Light shift. They go the seven. Herbert Loza again. Some up the oh, opportunity. They've recalled play on. Getting close to the line. Five out. So we go through to the 11. Fonotalanga. Oh, shot off low. Six to go. Yes, he has. It board. is. It's been touched. Two Palotu. A lot of work Just again settles for it. Southern Cross off their own try line defense. The comms need to be really well here for Southern Cross. Filippo goes real close to the line. It looks like Tumunga wants it. No, he doesn't. Pass it. Herbert Loza again. Pressure. Ducks under one. Fatia Lofa goes for the corner. Oh! Not Is it sure a try? There. Yeah, it looked like he bounced the ball there, but we'll wait for referee Buck Bucks and he confirms. He awards it. First try. Semi final. De La Salle up 4 0. That man, Fatia Lofa, who got them out of territory with the uh, strong carry that was ruled to be a high tackle, and he's had a couple of good touches. And there we see him dot down for four points. Bit unfortunate there for Southern Cross having to work back to back attacking sets. A uh, bit of fatigue would have just caught them out. But nonetheless, it's 4-0 uh, on our scoreboard. Uh, nine minutes gone in the first half of the semi-final in the boys' premiership between De La Salle and Southern Cross. Black, uh, the under-15s Invitational Tournament starts today. Uh, three three sides are here to compete, Toporoa, Te Whanau Anoa and a collective of different Whanaukura, Taikura participating in that one. Yeah, it's, it's good to see the young kids um, buying into Rugby League and NZ are real, uh, really inviting these, these uh, students and the, the schools to come and participate. They are only here for the day. As we know, the young kids, they got a lot of energy, so a couple of games today and um, we'll, we'll have the final, I believe, here later this afternoon on live stream. Awesome. That'll be our last game to be live stream today, under 15 Invitational Final at the uh, Secondary School Tournament. Both teams have found their way out of their own half pretty easily through their strong ball carries. Both teams look very well disciplined so far. It's really that one little moment that could change this game. You see off the back, fans. Number 10, Tui Monga. It's a great start to the set. Malachi Tony Sharp. Off to Tui Pelotu Via. Right to the 40 already. A short ball. Closing in over halfway. Only tackle two, tackle three. Malachi Tony sees one down. Off to Fono Talanga. Looked a little, but they the referee said play on. No, that's fine. Malachi Tony once again goes short, takes it on himself. He's looked very nippy out of dummy half, and once again gets another pass away. Fono Talanga, last tackle. Who gets it? Southern Cross turning their backs against the attack. Trying to run on the last. And he beats one, he beats two. Brian to beat the fullback. Great defense. Has he got it down? Parker Parkinson looks happy. They ran it on the fifth, Blake. Caught everyone out. Alan Talataina Malama. Wow. Look, oh, when, I didn't know if they knew it was a last, but hey, credit to them. They probably did because the way he hit that ball at pace, I mean, the footwork. He beat one, he beat two, carry three over the line and somehow got it down. It's amazing rugby league. It, it's secondary styles. You know, they uh, didn't go through the normal fifth and final looking for the repeat set or, or the cross field bomb. 
uh, they decided to take on the line and uh, Southern Cross caught with their backs against the play. Uh, not able to see that one coming. Just recall there was no uh, there was no penalty or ill discipline mm, to get mm. them out of territory. They just ran 100 metres and it all started from that man to Monga off the kickoff, off the back fence, off the fence literally over there and just took on and just did not stop. No handbrake at all seen straight into the defence. And what he's adding to that run is the quick play to ball, the speed out of the dummy half there. Uh, the ball wasn't quite clean, but they were still able to continue with their momentum out of the De La Salle side. See Norman Cameron to Pelotu trying to make 8-10, but no, unsuccessful again. So eight points to nil. Southern Cross Campus looking to really change momentum in this game. It's going to have to be off this uh, kickoff because I know that, uh, like I just said, Francis Toimonga isn't going to stop if they kick to him again. So who's going to be the person to put their hand up and really try and change the game? Yeah, Southern Cross needs something special here. They're just making an interchange at the moment. Uh, going off the field is for them is Rafi, uh, Paya Potofa, the number 10, the prop forward. And making his way on now uh, is Nazareth Vayunga. One of the two Vayunga brothers in the Southern Cross side. There's that man again. Looking for Leo Moana to meet him in contact. No, they're very away from him. The ball comes out. Oh, oh no. Penalty. Once, once again, a strong carry. Met with the defense and just hands in there. Um, the referees signaled a penalty and... Easy metres now for De La Salle to have another attacking set in uh, the Southern Cross campus half. Southern Cross fatigue brings ill discipline. Uh, I think they were trying something there but just didn't quite work out for them. Big carry, big hit. Tupelo to Via, met by the Southern Cross campus boys. Heavy contact. Once again, man beating a couple is Francis Tuimonga. Dominating Looks tackle to be a there bit. by Vayunga, causes a slow play to ball. And that's through the 19, Augustino Filippo. They go in, there's that man Malakai Tony once again with the offload. Herbert Lowe's out the back. Malakai Tony, some class touches, once again draws the full. Fati Alofa, can he get the offload away? He doesn't need to. Speed out of that. Does he heart. get it down? Referee no. Went to reach out. Malakai Tony has had some class touches out of dummy half. We've now seen him take the headgear off. Maybe he was hurting the vision. But the linking up with Kalis Fatialofa on the left-hand side, he looks like a very powerful centre, hard to stop, and just knocked on reaching out there. It's been four sets since uh, Southern Cross have had the ball in hand. They look fatigued, but we'll see how they go. No doubt some of their big boys will put their hand up to get the front foot. While they, have, while they patiently wait for that, our fullback comes into the plate, John Simrangi. At dummy half there is Rofe Malu. Malu has a look around, finds the other winger, Panapa Fangayo. Oh, referee calling time. Blood bin, Blood bin's the call here. Rangi needs to take, uh, take a little bit of a moment. It's a little head clash, I believe. The man is Francis Tumonga. He's the one carry with the strong carries. I wonder if they're changing him or is they, they're bringing a sub on? Possibly, I hope. Stoppage of play, but may have been a blood bin from De La Salle. Francis Tumonga is off. Is Leo Moana. To replace him is the 13, Jeff Samuelo. Malu at dummy half looks up, finds Vayung, Vayunga, his first hit up in this match. Nazareth Vayunga, Malu, Leo Moana with another hit up in the set for Southern Cross Campus. Referee calls fifth and final. Malu looking for Uasike. Uasike now looks for a midfield bomb. Good kick needs a good chase. Harmy Herbert Loza once again at the back, very safe. Carry back to the 10. Harmy had to look up, one of those green jerseys was the referee. <laughs> Martin Nelson 
He done well before to stay in. Now he's done well to beat five or six defenders. Out to the 35 metre line. If they look right, here they have it. They're going through the hands. Oh, big hit, big, big hit. contact. That's Yale Lavu Lavu. Mano Lima Mia. Very close as we gave it back to the carry. Teletona Malama had the try score before. That, that hit there from Lavu Lavu seems to awaken up the Southern Cross side. They've come back into this match. Jeff Samuel, take it back over there's last tackle. They're looking to go through the hands again. No. Talatona Malama puts it up high. The chase is there. Taken well there from John Four, Simbangi with five. the support. But he's dragged back. Ooh. They were a bit rushed at the end of the set. And I don't know what they, they had a couple of choices in their mind, but Talatona Malama just thought, here, I'm going to put it up in the end. You know, that's great effort from De La Cell because the chases, if they're not there, they're not getting the ball back now. Great placement of the kick as well. Put plenty of pressure on Johnson Rangi and Pana Fango. Rangi taking that one but dragged back by five defenders. Over Lowe's are there. Off to Fono Talanga. Big carry. Off to Mangele. Fangayo now in the second second uh, tackle here, looking to get busy to make up for his uh, for his part in that play. Half back out. Oh, two Pelotu, very close line ball. They say play on. Manole Mami out left. The no look pass. They get through. Is he held up? Two Pelotu via just held up over the line. Some great desperation by Southern Cross campers, and it's what's needed. Because that really is crucial if they score again here. A beautiful straight line with soft hands there. De La Salle. Referee calling time, player injury, but a concern there. Let's go, Looks like La Muni Matu. No, he's found his feet. He's back up. They're really flat on the right. I'd like to see some shape unless they're just going to try and arge and barge straight through the middle here, which it looks like they might do. But Jeff Samuelu. And that's the play. Goes through one, two. He's got the arm free. Doesn't get there. They're looking to the right hand side. Camera of Tui Poloto out wide. What a ball. Sums up the situation perfectly. And Joshua, Joshua Ma'a Nelson crosses. Out right hand side and good credit there to Norman Cameron to Polotu who had many options there to choose from and just chose that right one beautifully with a, a nice way to pass to his winger. Well they stacked the middle of their attack and, and the numbers were there met by Southern Cross but they didn't look wide and that's exactly where the ball went to. Found the winger out there and no one in front of him. Try time. Takes and our score now. 12-12-0. First half, De La Salle over Southern Cross in the boys' premiership semi-final. Just over four minutes to go as well, and as we've seen throughout this tournament, we have another changing kicker. After the uh, misser, there's obviously a lot of kickers in the side, or the, the kids love to uh, have a goal kick or an attempt. So you see Franklin Manola Lima Mia have an attempt from the sideline as far out as you can get. Kick looks good, looks good, Blake. Wow. Well, it's a question why wasn't he kicking from the start? But hey, he's there now and takes the tough ones. That'll take the score to 14-0 and outside two converted tries now. And look, we've got three three or so minutes to go. I like to see Southern Campus really control this set in defense, get the ball back and maybe have one last shot to get some points on. If they can control that ruck speed there that Dallas Hale seems to have full control of, just too much speed coming out of dummy half as well with Tony. But, Della, uh, but Southern Cross, they're still in this match. They're still in terms of the energy that they're showing here. And hopefully they can uh, show it in their strong defense here off the back fence. Off the back fence again, it is. Big carry. Great tackle though. Great tackle down low from the fullback. Johnson Rangi. 
offload. They're looking running now. Herbert Loza, like any good fullback, straight up the middle through support play. There goes that ruck speed again. They look for a little tip play. But Augustino Filippo takes it down. Samuel Lu. Big man, big carry offloads. Mano Lima Mia takes it down. Inside the 40 though. Yeah, already over the halfway. They're just running with support at the moment. It's really causing trouble, but it's fifth tackle here. Mano Lima Mia puts it in the corner. Oh! Has he got the ball down? He has. That, that, That's that was a special play there. It looked all covered from Fungai or the winger for Southern Cross Campus, but out of nowhere. Joshua Martin Nelson, who we just saw cross before, this time had to do a lot more work, but the kick's only as good as its chase, and he was there to compete and was the better man in the contest, but he did have a lot of work to do after that. Partner Pafaing or the winger for Southern Cross was in the right place. He, he even jumped well and you know, but the contest, the contesting ball in the air. Bit of hunger there, bit of hunger there from Ma'a Nelson. Score out to 18-0 with another important conversion. There's always that, you know, if there's still three converted tries, but once it goes out past that, you know you've got to score four times. There's a little bit of a mind game here, so very, com very important conversion. You can see that uh, rest yesterday for De La Salle. Uh, the benefits of it are starting to show. Well, he's kicked one from the sideline before, but just uh, swung that to the left, and the score remains 18 0. Um, so, and you, you did mention the rest. It's such a combat sport, such a gladiator sport, rugby league. Just contact, not, you know, there's, there's no shields, no pads really involved. It's just body contact. And to play continuous day after day, like my hat's off to these kids. And De La Salle, you could see, uh, definitely well rested from that game yesterday. Half time not too far away in this one. Oh, that's us now, I, th I believe. 18 points to nil. De La Salle over Southern Cross campus. Expect a big second half though. Stay tuned. G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24 seven, servicing their customers, hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business and this is something everyone should be thinking about.
I train to play. And Sammy Bill does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ATC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. Big. Oh, these boys love carrying off the back fence, don't they? De La Salle up to the 30 on play one. 18-0 the score if you just joined us. That's the boys' premiership semi-final between De La Salle and Southern Cross. De La Salle ahead in this one. La Mia takes it up over the 40. Malachi Tony tries to get the hurry up. They go the little shift. I think that's the Samuel. Another short, sharp play at a dummy half. Goes on to Philippor. Is now on it at hooker is Sikovia. They go to the left. Sums up the play beautifully. Mano Li Lima Mia. Great work just... defensively there from the prop forward for Southern Cross. Lamuni Matu. Would have liked his time again. I think maybe a little bit more depth on the kick, but. Good place to start your set defensively. Once again, De La Salle easily crossing that 50 metre. First set. Southern Cross though, be ideal for them to score first. Put a bit of energy back into their, uh, to their game play. Back three are coming in to do a little bit of work for uh, Southern Cross campus now. It's Lolo here, Sione Lolo here. Oh, Viti, I, I, I apologise. There's the fly half break ball there from the fly half. There go. Looks like Valu, Lavu, Lavu. Oh, Herbert Loza knocked the ball down. Play on six to go. Good work. Southern Cross be, be hungry for this one now. That's exactly what they needed to get over this side of the half. Uh, with a few more tackles in there up their sleeve. Pushing up to the 35 metre line now. Second row, Jerome Falemoy. Oh. Malu, dummy half, looking for the danger man, Leo Moana. He gets the ball now, Leo Moana, but met with big defense there from De La Salle. Malu finds his half back. There's Potofa. Potofa to the back row. Falemoy. Malu at dummy half. Looking up, sizing up. Oh, they defense. got them. They go blind, so. Oh, great option. Great vision. Looks like a first try now for Southern Cross. Josiah beat it. Exactly what they needed to start the second half. Southern Cross campus. First points for them. Coming early in the second half. I really just, I, I took my time there to watch that set. And Leo Moana is... After that line break and they got the six to go, he's really pointing to his outside man and his, his, his halves and really orchestrating their attack. And it's the modern day lock forward, you know, he's, he's another half really, isn't he? He's a strong ball carrier, but he's, he's got the skill of a six. And um, the way he just orchestrated that set, even with his carry, but great mention to those other players who, some great vision to get them across there. Yeah, that was Rafi Malu, the hooker who, you know, could have easily went to the open side just to keep barging, barging forward. But Marley decided to take on the blind side. He finds Josiah Viti. Blind side play, and sure enough, they get the goods from it. 4-0, conversion to come. Uasike now. Three metres in from the try uh, from the sideline. To all our viewers out there, yes, that's a pole. Who are seeking now? Comes forward for the conversion. Get across. 
Wags of our flags are waved away. Conversion unsuccessful leaves our score now 18 points to four. De La Salle over Southern Cross in the boys premiership semi-final. If I'm a Southern Cross trainers there or even the coach sending out a message, they would just see the boys have a huddle there. We've touched it once this half. We spoke about what we wanted to do in the second half. It will start fast, I'm guessing. They made a line break down the left, which was exceptional. And we get our second set of this first half and we, we score a try. We're right back in this game and it's going to matter what they do with the ball this set. Bringing it back up to the, to the, to meet the defensive line now. It's the back rower. Look at this defense. The, and up. they've said, oh, they've no, Parkinson, it's referee Pucky Parkinson's awarded the rake, the one on one steal, but has said that De La Selle have uh, obviously lost it while trying to steal the ball. So once again, Southern Cross campers get the ball. Tough, tough there for Uwasiki. Southern Cross, we're just looking comfortable now with the ball in hand. They've been starved off from the first half. Signs of a great team, D. So when you get scored on, you, you really can press your defensive line and try and three out ball runners. And that's what we just saw then. A little unlucky, but here we go again. Southern Cross coming out of their own 20. That's the back row, number 12, Jerome Fallemoy. It's 18 points to four here, Southern Cross and De La Salle. De La Salle in the lead. Penalty going for Southern Cross. They're looking to move some meters up the field with the kick. Try scorer is Josiah Vive for the only try scorer. Josiah Vite. Met from strong defense there. Malu at dummy half. Malu finds the fullback Rangi. John Samrangi. Here we His go. hand on the ball early in each set. Ooh. Malu takes on the line, offloads, oh, finds offload. Rangi. Rangi goes exactly to the same place that Malu was. Here Malu we. complaining of some. Um, Decent play there. Here shape comes Leo Moana, creates the shape. Wasike, Lavu Lavu. Lavu Lavu with the offload, finds Wasike, the half. Malu now, Leo Moana calling for the ball. Leo Moana, short ball to his prop forward, good line. Lamoni Matu. They're on the right again, they've got them again. Leo Moana, of all players they go to, Wasike. Oh. Shifts it out to Lavu Lavu. Lavu oh. Lavu strong. Takes the line on. Looks Is he down? Waiting for the, the sideline. Says no. He's caught short. Caught on the fifth. Hand over. Unfortunate there for Southern Cross. Spoke about moments in games that sort of decide. I think Lavu Lavu, if he had his time again, would have looked up. He had his winger unmarked. But nonetheless, this is where they got to turn their attack now into defense and really toughen up, muscle up. Don't let them easy out of their end, De La Salle. As the boys come in for a carry, the wingers, the outside backs, another strong carry. Southern Cross, they seem to find a second win. Mm -hmm. Bit of energy about their defence. Coming forward. So watch, nice Numbers. little interchange of passing. We go on to ground. I believe that's through two Puloto Via. It is. Decides to take it himself, smart option. They go back through the middle. Great hands. Offload there. No, they go to ground. Die with it, Filippo. Manoli Mamiya looks for the kick. Early kick. They got the lead. Good kick too. Very, very smart. Very smart play. Bringing it back now. Pineapple Fungail. Mentioned before, your kick's only as good as your chase. And D. Sell with five or six there to meet him. Rangi at dummy half. Finds the other winger. Low here. Malu hit up there from one of the uh, one of the other backs now for Southern Cross Campus. Malu brings it out wide, second row there. Falemo, oh, great Falemo play with great offload. There's the centre there, Joshua Vite. 
Josiah Viti. Marley, Farley Moy, Leo Moana shows inside, takes on the line, offloads. Oh, oh great offload to Vaunga. Vaunga takes it down, referee calls 15 final. Leo Moana calling for the ball yet again, the 13. Finds his halfback, cross field kick. Great take. Good option. Kalis Fatia Lofa. Great with the ball, and he subdues that, takes it down. As now we see, great little break there by Tave. No one wants to put their hand up to run though for De La Salle after a couple of sets of some tough defense. Now they're on the front foot. Busting one, busting two. Masu Potofa in there with the defence. Oh, Samuela just, Samuela just overrunning his outside men as they offload. Six to go. Southern exactly Cross. what needed. Southern Cross got two players just dragging their way back slowly, slowly making their way back to the defensive line. De La Salle, 25 out from the line and they're looking for their man who's just come back on too. Maunga, he knows only one way. That's straight through the middle. On the seven. Tu Poloto, dummy half, and he chooses to go right. They've got options, they've got numbers. Just held up Laumia. Where do they go? Do they go to the right? There's options right, there's options left. Tu Poloto catches around his ankles. Not the best service out of there by Sikovia, but they survived that Southern Cross campus. De La Salle looked very promising there. They had their shape set up to the left. They just unable to get it. They're unable to execute. 10 minutes gone in the second half. Just the one try so far from Southern Cross, 18-4. Now Southern Cross coming out of their own half. 10 minutes out from their own try line. Farley Moy with the first head up, Jerome Farley Moy. Malu at dummy half. Malu scoots, has a go. Show and go now. It's number seven, it's Motofa. Oh, the numbers are out to the left. They're looking to go there. Lil Moana set up. Malu. Leo Moana, great contact there from De La Salle. Quick play the ball though for Southern Cross and they get the penalty. They had done the good work there mm. De La Salle but unfortunately they uh, force, a, force a mistake by interrupting the play. I think they they ruined the opportunity they need to they play fast here Southern Cross. If they had the quick play the ball, Leo Moana had them set to the left. The play the ball was just a bit slow but lucky for them they get another set from ill discipline. Leo Moana directing his players now. He's still hungry. This would be great if Southern Cross can score off this set here. Oh, it's like a turnover. There's a turnover and he's out into touch, but they awarded the knock on first by Southern Cross Campus. Costly. Tough. Tough, Tough to swallow that one. Especially if you're a Southern Cross fan, things are starting to look good. We said we've only seen him here a couple of times and they've been exceptional this second half when they're down here. It's looked very promising for possibly another four pointer to get it even closer, but um, nonetheless, D last sell the chance to bring it out. And are they gonna go left? They've got the Mano Lima Mia set up. Looks like they might shift this off the scrum if they get it. Wouldn't surprise me if they did, if they moved the ball around. They go there, oh, oh they're behind. gonna award it, no, they, Oh, wow. Fatio Lofu has been damaging all game. Once again, beats three. Herbert Loza, like the fullback, he is, backs up. Gets to the try. They're chasing him. They're chasing him. Puts it down. Goes smartly. Goes around under the post. Knows every two points matters. But the work done by Khalees Fatio Lofa, I mean, he got the ball with not much happening. It was just do your best, mate. And... He beat three or four, used the pace around to get around all of them, drew the fullback, 
any, I've said it numerous times today because he's done it, but any good fullback knows you've got to back up the big boys and Herbert Loza was there to support and smartly enough run it closer to the posts. Heads were down for Southern Cross there. They knew exactly what was happening uh, once their drop ball um, came to play. Uh, however, you know, they've, they've still got to keep their head high. They've made it to the semi-final for the National Secondary School competition. Uh, they're taking on De La Salle, who look like the favourites now. Uh, due to St. Paul's not, not make, advancing it uh, through to the semi-finals here. They, um, they sort of made their playing like favourites. Uh, they're playing some outstanding football. We did mention about George Carmont earlier and the IQ level that he has as a rugby league international. But to see some of these kids just brood strength and, you know, you don't have to teach toughness. You know, got all you don't. Francis Tuimonga, his carries today have been inspirational. We'll hit the post. We're still here, 22-4, and we have just over 10 minutes to go. Now, rugby league's a funny game. We saw, I think, yesterday um, a team score with two plays. Could have been Rotorua. Yeah. Boys scored two plays, and it would have been about 15 seconds of footy. So not saying this is going to happen here because these are two very class teams, but it is quite possible. It's rugby league. That's right. All right, Southern Cross. If anything, they'll be just looking for something special. Whether it's a knock-on, a big hit, an offload, Southern Cross be hungry for something uh, to get these spirits back up in this one. He's my man, my favourite, Francis Tuimonga. Takes his time this one, but still goes straight and hard. Three to take him back. It's met by Nazareth Bayunga. That's At the, the play. Out the back touch, it looks like six to go. I think Herbert Lowe's is there to dive on the ball. I was hopeful that was to play Southern Cross. Mm. Knock on. And here we go through Philippo. On to the left here. Danger man. Here Danger he is man. again, Fatih Alofa. Beats the first like always he does. Takes it back to the middle. Pinball, bouncing off tackles. That's Josiah Vonga the contact from Southern Cross. It's a simple set of play to Samuelu. Last tackle. I believe that is Malachi Tony back on. Yes, it is. Five is Sione Lolo here. Caught on the full, brings that outside to the 30. They're, they're messing around that dummy half there. Oh. Oh. Rangi, he gets the ball. He was hungry for the ball. He wanted it, and I'll tell you, he didn't shirk it at all. He went straight at the big boys. He wants to show that he's contributing well to the set. Leo Moana now finds Vaunga. That's Nazareth. He's been good since he's come off the bench, Nazareth Vaunga. Malu, Leo Moana. Offload Leo Moana. Oh, Look, touch. Ago. Yep, referee yep. says it has been touched. That's who I see, kid. A fly half. Big contact there, but he beats one, the winger, Fangayo. Back to one for Southern Cross. They're 35 metres out from the trial line. Bringing it forward is Siale Lavu Lavu. Set to the right. Malu looking forward. Finds the back rower. Rabosai. Rabosai settles right in, in the middle of the field. Options left and right, they go right. Leo Moana. Finds Falemoy. Falemoy steps on the outside of the half. Comes back it's inside. There. Oh. Looks good. He may have scored here. The ball may have rolled out once and make Here we go. Sure enough, it does. Try time. Sure. Uh, Jerome Falemoy for Southern Cross. That's what we want to see. Once again, I can't. How the, the importance of Leo Moana has been to this side, just organising. Um, and that man, who he was in the centres jersey the other day, and since I think that first game where they went down to St Thomas, is a smart move by the coach to put Jerome Falamoy into the back row, and we just see they reap the rewards there. Too big, too strong. Elijah Leo Moana, he brings the shape for Southern Cross. Once, once he gets rid of the ball in the first instance, he takes that settle, but he's added the offload to his run. 
uh, which creates that second phase play and puts the pressure on the defensive line of De La Salle. Conversion looks good over here. There's an extra two points now for Southern Cross Campus. 22 points to set. Or to Fanga Uasike, or to Conversion. Here we go. We spoke about this funny game that's Rugby League and two converted tries, the difference. Six minutes, six minutes to go, Ooh, Blake. Oh, I'm excited. The, the, the temperature's dropped. Bit of noise in the other game of the major semi final, the boys' premiership. Looks like St. Paul's gone over for a try. For more updates on all the scores at Ehoama, ladies and gentlemen, please go to the New Zealand Rugby League uh, website with all the draws, the updates of the score, and of course, what's happening for the rest of the day. Gonna get the all right, short kick now. Gonna Lavu get it, Lavu. Gonna get it in good field position here. Lavu Lavu with the first, tack, uh, first hit up. Here comes Nazareth Vayonga. Looking for a quick play to ball from Nazareth. They hold him down. Wow. Surprised there's no penalty there. Malu at dummy half. Here comes Leo Moana. Decides to take the settle. It's the third hit up now for Southern Cross. 45 metres out. Just about to cross the halfway line. Here's Josiah Vaunga. Good work from the Vaunga brothers. Setting the platform now for Southern Cross campus. Leo Moana bringing that shape. Finds us. Finds Uasike. Oh. Uasike kicks early. Oh! There's a mistake. Uasike picks the ball. He's going, He's going through. <laughs> oh, he has a bit of a oh, wave. Oh, no. I think... I, look, probably wasn't the right play, but they've got the rewards. Harmy Herbert Loza. Look, the, the know-how to even chip and chase, just to have the confidence to do it. I love that. The thing I would have liked to see was him bring it closer, but he is the kicker, so he must know he can get him from out there, but... Mate, great to see this a contest. Otufanga Uasike scoring that try, setting it up, chip and chase. Mistake from the fullback. Uasike picks it up, takes on the line and beats everyone for the for a try here for Southern Cross Campus. Takes our score now 14 points to 22. De La Salle in the lead with four minutes to go. Semi-final, De La Salle versus Southern Cross Campus. 21 minutes gone in the match. 22-14 the score at the moment. He's taking his time with the kick. And he's nailed it! Yeah. It was sicky. I mean, I, he, he, he knew he could kick it the way he put the finger up and didn't want to run it closer for himself. Great conversion. Six, six point ball game. Wow. Didn't see this five minutes ago. Love this game. Finally, Moy. Here comes Nazareth Vaunga. Plenty of energy all of a sudden coming into this match from Southern Cross Campus. Malu, Malu finds Jerome Falemoy. Falemoy being dangerous today, looking for an offload. 45, uh, 40 metres out now. Starting to Malu. roll, starting to roll. Here comes just Josiah Vaunga. Oh, what a set so far for Southern Cross Campus. Six points to difference, two minutes to go. Leo Moana with a Typical Leo Moana hit up. Quick play to ball. Malu. They shift it out. Jerome Falemoy now he's got numbers out here too. Falemoy, if he can get rid of it. Oh. Referee calls it back. It was a knock on. No, nope. we'll wait for the play. Yep, it's been confirmed. Knock forward from Southern Cross Campus. 
They might get one more chance with the ball, depending how this set goes, but there's a hell of a game. Love this. They had the opportunity there. I could see his vision. He had the flick passes just a little bit too low for his centre. Southern Cross be looking for a big hit. I'll be attacking the ball if I was on the defensive line. Six points the difference. One minute to go. De La Cell, how do they play this half? How do they play this set? Ball security. Ball security be important. Oh, Herbert Loza with the first carry and they try to offload and they do. Martin Nelson down the sideline. Up to the 50. It's where you want it on play one. Herbert Loza straight there at the six. Gets it away. I believe that's Philippo. It's secondary school rugby league. Oh, Gabe Blake, that it is. Ball security. Oh. Penalty. And they get the penalty. What do they do here? Now we just said a secondary school's rugby league. Well, the safe thing to do would be to go for the goal. Yeah, is but that, I, that the I, I thought I heard a hoot. I don't know if that's the, the crowd with a, a fakey. Do we have a fake yeah. siren? Could Maybe. We'll, we'll wait for, like everyone else, we'll wait for Pocky Parkinson. Yep. Uh, our Kai Wawo, our referee. But they ourselves sucking the time now. Everyone wants to have a meeting. I think I do believe that was a siren because I think they're asking him now if they tap it and kick it out, is that full time? Uh, oh, they're playing on, but no, that is the siren. Fatia Lofa does the honours. No one more deserving than the match he just had then. Fatia Lofa with a man of the match performance, we say, with some of his carries. But uh, Southern Cross care for this. Great effort. Great effort from them. You know, they came back in the dying minutes of the second half. They built that hunger up, but just caught a little bit short there uh, right at the end. But take nothing away from De La Salle. They set the platform from the get-go in this match. And uh, fortunate, they go through. They, they do. They go through the final undefeated. Going to be a very tough team to beat. Uh, great scenes. We'll be back shortly with another game on your live stream. G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24-7, servicing their customers' hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business and this is something everyone should be thinking about.
train to play. And Sammy Bull does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go.